Hi, I've got a cool technique today to help you match the colors on your Disney princesses or whatever else. Here I've got my princess laid out in Cricut Design Studio and around each piece I have placed a rectangle that leaves me a little bit of room but not too much. I've also got two more elements I want to point out. One is a half inch circle butted up against the edge here at zero zero and one is a one inch exactly one by one inch square. It's here for reference. I also have on this other page a 12 by 12 square in white that's going to help me with the preview. So what that does is when I do the preview I get black rectangles around every area that I want to fill in with color. So I use my snipping tool which is under accessories and I take a screen capture of the area that I want To have color in. That goes to the clipboard and then I go to paint which is under accessories except that I just used it so you, it's open and I'm going to and I'm going to paste that. So now that I have that, I want to go back and get one more thing. I'm going to get the an image of the princess so that I have the colors to match. And I'm just going to get the part that I need that has the colors. That ought to do it. And I'm going to paste that in as well. I'll just put her over to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and for each of these squares I'm going to click the eyedropper in the color. You'll see the color will change here. Then I'm going to use the paint bucket and go in and color. Now I know this one is for the hair. Go back to the eyedropper, pick up a nice light color for the skin. Sometimes you have to try a couple times to get the color you like. This one is for the dark blue. Let's see, there's the dark blue right there. This one is for the light blue there. My the eyes can be white and the reference circle reference square can be white. And this one is the lips. I'm going to go get the lips. Get a nice pink for the lips. And there's all my squares. So I'm going to crop this. I don't need Cinderella anymore. Now I do want to resize this because I'm not sure it has the resolution I need and I probably should have done that beforehand but I think it'll work out okay. Now I'm going to save this. I can save it as ping or JPEG. Now I'm going to bring it in to Microsoft Word and I'm going to tell it I want it to be in front of the text. I'm going to put it up in the corner here where the circle would, if it were not cut off, would hit the edge of that page. And I'm going to draw a square. that is one by one and I'm going to use it over here to get my size correct. I'm running out of time on the tape but you get the idea. I would size this until my reference square